All right, I'm out today. <laughs> Expecting very little because I'm at one of my old fallback spots, but. But and I'm using the, uh, the Black Ada digger to see if it can make my life a little easier. Boy, that's a pretty good sound. That's up in there, but it looks a little big. I think that's going to be a can. Yeah, it would read a little large, but I had to give it a shot. Oh, well, that's a good solid 68 sound, which is probably going to be a pull tab, but but what the heck? There it is. It was a modern pull tab. That definitely sounds like it's a penny. They could be a can, it kind of would surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me if it was a tiny piece of a can, or at least not tiny, but a small piece of a can. Well guys, it's about a 94. Which is probably the, the first high signal I've gotten today. Not very deep. A lot of leaf litter around here, so. Oh, there we go. A rare and wonderful quarter. Hey, I thought I'd do a review, uh, at least a first look review at the Black Aider Ripper. I went out today, uh, you probably saw that from a few of the hunts uh, that I, uh, I attached to the beginning of this video, just to uh, show you I did give it a pretty good run. I did wash it off somewhat, <laughs> so to get some of the mud and dirt off of it. 
And uh, it's a trial, and you know, and it's expected to dig like a trial, so it creates trial-shaped incisions in the ground. And if I'm going to, uh, fortunately, in that particular series of uh, digs, I was in a an area under some trees and with a lot of leaf litter most of the time. So it wasn't necessary to dig a surgical plug that you could replace and not notice. Now, if I was to take this out into a field, my preference is probably going to be to sharpen it slightly, but that's just because of the nature of the soil in my area. It does not mean that it would be required in anybody else's area. But if you've seen my videos for the last two or three months before we began to get rain, you see the, the natural state that the soil can be in in this particular uh, area of north central Texas and it's pretty concrete like. It's still tough to dig to a point. It's loose on the top but it very quickly gets solid. So it still would probably behoove me to sharpen this a bit. But I did like it. It did, it did a good job and it's a nice addition. I don't know if it'd be my exclusive digger but uh, you know I have a variety of diggers and I think this will fit right into uh, the grouping and I'm still wondering about sharpening this. It does have this uh, serrated type edge here which would be difficult to sharpen but they're large serrations and maybe with my sharpener I can actually get in there and still sharpen the serrations but I am definitely considering sharpening the, the very front edge of the knife but like I said it's just because of the nature of where I live. So that's about all I've got for it, and I'll, I'll be taking it out some more, and I'll also be taking out the, uh, the Technics Diamond Digger in the near future. But I thought I would take this one out first, since this is the most uh, radical, even though it is a standard garden tool uh, in basic shape, of my, uh, of my uh, detecting diggers, uh, at least of the current uh, evolution of my digger collection. Anyway, I will talk to you later, and you have a wonderful day.